Hello and welcome back to another video on this channel. Today we are taking a look at stock market in general to see whether we are buying or waiting for price to fall. We will be taking a look at S&P 500 and Nasdaq 100 ETFs as well. The S&P 500 ETF is a basket of 500 companies and Nasdaq 100 ETF is a basket of 100 companies. Let's start with S&P 500. The average return of S&P 500 is 10% over the last 100 years. Some years market has gone up and some years market has gone down but if you average them all it is close to 10%. The average PE is 15.97. The current PE is 31.2. The average price to book value is 2.95. The current price to book value is 4.2. The average price to sales ratio is 1.67. The current price to sales ratio is 2.62. By looking at those key indicators, it makes sense to wait for price to fall. Now let's see which ETFs are the best ETFs out there to buy when price starting to fall. For S&P 500, SPY, VOO and VFV ETFs are my favorites. These ETFs hold 500 companies. The management fee is low and number of holdings are almost same. These ETFs hold one of the best companies like Apple, Google, Microsoft, Tesla, etc. to boring companies like Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Kraft Heinz and many more. These are well diversified ETFs and hold companies under various sectors. For SPY, the management fee is 0.09%. For VOO, the management fees is 0.03%. For VFV, the management fees is 0.08%. All three are same basically but with different names. For NASDAQ 100, QQQ and HXQ are my favorite. This ETF hold 100 companies and it's more tech based ETF. The management fees for QQQ is 0.20% and for HXQ is 0.25%. Again same but with different names. I am sure there are many more ETFs out there but always pick one with low management fees and well diversified ETF. Keep buying S&P 500 and NASDAQ 100 ETF when you think price is fairly value or under value for the market. If you enjoy the video please leave a like and subscribe for future content. See you in the next video.